Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to another Top 5 Horror Recommendations. Now, this one is for the month of November. Now, this is where I pick five movies that I really enjoyed, that I watched in, the, in a certain month, and two honorable mentions. So, let's get started right away with the honorable mentions. Alright, the first honorable mention is not Alien from the Abyss, although I did like it. It is actually called The Outsider. The Cinema of Antonio Margariti. Now this is a documentary on the cinema of Antonio Margariti. And I found it to be quite informative. And it really made me want to check out some of his other uh, films that he has. Some of them really aren't that available, but... Um, hopefully, we'll get a physical media copy of movies like The Ripoff or Spaceman or stuff like that. So, first honorable mention, The Outsider. Second honorable mention is Carnival of Blood. Now, this was recommended to me by Joe the Horror Man. As a matter of fact, it made his top two for 1970. I don't think I liked it quite as much as he did, but I liked it a lot. And if you are into carnival settings like he and I are, this has a carnival setting that is basically second to none. The only thing I can think of that has a maybe a better carnival setting is maybe the fun house, but I would put this up against it because of the grittiness. This takes place on Coney Island, and it's basically a slasher movie. Uh, if you want to call it a proto slasher, even though I hate that term. But yeah, Carnival of Blood. I did watch Curse of the Headless Horseman and didn't really care for it too much. It was okay. It was worth a one time watch, but yeah. Carnival of Blood, on the other hand, great movie. All right. Let's get into our top five now. Coming in at number five, and this is probably going to surprise a lot of people, is. Ghoulies 3. Ghoulies go to college. <laughs> I had never seen this movie. I thought I did, but I didn't. And the best way to describe Ghoulies go to college is it's basically Ghoulies and Animal House mixed together. I had a blast with this movie. I considered putting it higher on my top five, but the other movies were just outstanding. So it came in at number five. And that's Ghoulies Go to College. Really a surprise. Okay, coming in at number four is The Canyon. Now, I picked this up from a Savers, and I wasn't really sure about it because I'd never heard anything about it ever. But when I watched it, I absolutely loved it. Now, this has Will Patton in it, and he plays a guide. And this couple is... At, in their honeymoon, and they want to go through the, I believe it's the Grand Canyon. But they go too far, and I'll just leave it there. Really good movie, though. Really good survival film. Yeah. The Canyon. Alright, coming in at number three. Is Thesis, or Thesis. Now, this is a Spanish uh, giallo which technically can't be a giallo if it's not from Italy, but there are giallo from other countries. So this is a Spanish giallo, and I picked this up actually at a uh, Goodwill, surprisingly enough. Um, and I've been hearing a little bit about it lately when I was reading uh, certain things about giallo and stuff like that. I was like, wait a minute, I have that movie. So I took it out and I watched it. Man, is it good. Very weird DVD, though. Um, it's actually split up into two programs. It's very odd. Maybe I'll do a, a uh, review on it for myself or for body bags. We'll see. But yeah, thesis. Number three. Number two is a movie that doesn't get a whole lot of love, but it's The Wrath of Becky, which of course is a sequel to Becky. Um, I loved it. I thought it was great. 
Is it unrealistic? Yes. But is it a lot of fun? Hell yeah. Now, of course, that's Becky with her trusted companion, Diego. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. And coming up at number one, and this is why we need physical media, guys, is Mirage. Now, this is a slasher, which currently doesn't have a release anywhere on anything. Not VHS, not DVD, not Blu-ray. Well, Jason, how did you get it? Well, a friend of mine downloaded it and made me a copy of it on DVD. And said, you really ought to check this out. It's a fantastic slasher movie. And my God, it's awesome. It is just an awesome slasher movie. So thank you to that friend. <laughs> you know who you are. Yeah, Mirage is absolutely awesome. And beautiful women in it. Um, and I really like the villain. The villain was like a, a big plus for me. So, coming in at number one is Mirage. Number two, The Wrath of Becky. Number three, Thesis. Number four, The Canyon. Number five, Ghoulies 3, Ghoulies Go to College. Might be my favorite Ghoulies movie. First honorable mention is Carnival of Blood. And the second honorable mention is The Outsider. The cinema of Antonio Margariti. And I'll just throw this in there because I really enjoy this. Alien from the Abyss as an overall. I just had fun with it. It's Italian cinema at its best and worst. <laughs> it's just a lot of fun. So there you go, guys. There is my picks for November. I guess I'll see you guys soon. Physical Media Matters. And until next time, peace.